Morning Eagles, I'm Audra Saladin. And I'm Christian Samino. And this morning we're here with Mr. Michael Emmett, the Superintendent of Weathersfield Public Schools. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So this year we partnered with the Sandy Hook Promise and pledged to say something. You've brought an app to the school district that supports the Sandy Hook Promise and What If Eagles. Can you tell me a little bit about the app and what it's supposed to do for us? Absolutely. Um, Audra and Christian, for, certainly thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come in and talk with you about uh, this important application. And I think it's a great connection to the Sandy Hook Promise. Um, I am a regular viewer of Blue Eagle News mm -hmm. and was really interested in the work that you were doing in that connection to the Sandy Hook Promise. Mm -hmm. The Anonymous Alert app is an application on your phone where you can report behavior that is unsafe. Bullying behavior, threatening behavior, uh, suicidal ideation of, of a friend, self-injurious behavior. And it's done in a manner that is anonymous. Uh, many times we find that there's that social pressure not to say something, the fear of snitching. This is an opportunity to be able to report this type of behavior and get support from administration here at Wethersfield High School as well as across the district. So as you rolled this out into the middle school, what are some problems that you faced uh, when you first brought it there? Well, the genesis of this actually came from the district, and uh, we have a health and wellness committee, and this came through uh, the work of our Board of Education subcommittee and our administration in looking at ways to support our students and our families here in Wethersfield. And we've rolled it out first at uh, Silas Dean Middle School, and um, students there have the opportunity to download the app and utilize the app. When we started, uh, we had an assembly for the students at the middle school, and we had the initial round of bogus um, reports. And the reality here is when a report is issued, it goes to uh, the principal and assistant principal at the school. It goes to Mr. Kazar, who is our Director of Special Services and oversees our um, bullying policy. And it also goes to me as superintendent. So we will get this in email as well as text. We take them seriously and we follow up on them. We had an initial run of uh, bogus reports. Um, what I ended up doing was sending out a school messenger email to our students at Silas Dean Middle School explaining the process and that this was serious and uh, we have seen a complete drop off of that. The key piece for us is making sure that we're providing students an opportunity to report behavior that may cause harm to someone else so that we can follow up on it. So what do you do to follow up on it after you receive an alert? Well, what will happen here, because it's anonymous, I want to be clear. The idea here is not to try and figure out who is providing these reports. It is potentially to get more information. So we may respond back. We have the ability to respond back to the poster anonymously, and we will ask for other specific details. We may ask for time of day, so that will assist us in our, our investigation. Then at that point in time, we'll reach out to the victim and we'll follow up with, with the necessary supports. Um, there are other districts across the state of Connecticut that are using this. Uh, Newtown Public Schools utilizes the Anonymous Alert app. West Hartford utilizes the Anonymous Alert app as well. And it was interesting in talking with my colleague in West Hartford, he talked about the fact that um, in West Hartford, they too saw an initial you know, group of bogus calls, but then they ended up finding out that um, students with suicidal ideation, students that were in, in some, some distress, uh, were being reported by their peers and that way the guidance counseling office was able to provide support. So that's the type of thing that we're looking for here. It's an extra resource for students to be able to stay safe. I really think it's a great idea because it really helps us tie into our see something, say something and our what if eagles because we want to show that we can make a difference and what better place to start at our very own school here. Well it's a great connection and that's why when I saw the Blue Eagle piece on the Sandy Hook Promise to see that it was such a great connection it certainly made sense. That's why I had the opportunity to come and talk with you today I thought it was so important. Again I think the idea here is to be able to provide students with resources um, to seek out help. Obviously, you know here at uh, Weathersfield High School, we're very keen on safety and security. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the issue of the potential of a threat, we need to know about that. Um, we know we keep a secure facility. My plug here, always wearing your IDs. 
yeah. every day. That's a safety and security protocol. And if there's something going on via social media that happens over the course of the weekend or the course of a vacation, that's the type of thing we can respond to. It is important to note that with the anonymous alert app, when you access the anonymous alert app, if there is a situation that is really dire and it's an emergency, it's a call to 911. It's a call to 211 for immediate support. We will respond to um, any anonymous alert during the course of the school day, but we wanted to make sure for those emergency situations outside of the school day or on weekends um, that we have other resources available. And you'll get that when you access the app. So we can access the app by scanning the code on the poster sound around the schools? Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah. So, and we have the app as well. What we'll be looking to do next year potentially as well is looking at adding that app to Chromebooks so that you'll actually have access to your Chromebooks as well. Uh, before we go, I'd like to thank Ms. Haas and the Art Department for supporting these uh, great and wonderful posters and the Media Center for supporting our props and chairs for today. And of course, Mr. Michael Emmett for joining us yes. to explain this app that he would like to run out.